Welcome back, everybody. Let's play Drone Life SpongeBob Edition. I actually managed to get the name right this time. That's quite a surprise, actually. So I don't quite recall what it is we are going to run off and do. I don't quite recall if there was anything that we wanted to uh, have. Oh, what are you doing? I don't know if there was anything that anybody wanted us to draw right now, but we already took care of that. We have stuff to draw. Cut it. The fish. Oh, okay. I was a little confused all of a sudden by the phrase, the fish is right. I don't know... What what other fish was there? Whatever. This is a super small clock. I mean, the obvious thing would be to do... Oh, you know what? Okay. This, this will work. I can pull a picture of that real quick, actually. It won't be a problem at all. Where are you? Alright. Got a nice preview image. This is, of course, pretty low res, what I'm actually drawing, but should be able to make it work. Okay, so first off, let's start with a nice circle. Oh! Not knocking over the microphone in the process. Super low resolution. Shoot, it's gonna be hard to work with. Of course, it's gonna be hard as always to draw a circle. I'm ill equipped for this task. I wish I could actually like, draw on this with a stylus as was originally intended, but that's not what I'm equipped with here. I have to like draw a bad circle and then just try to fix it afterwards or something. That kind of works. I'm gonna narrow my- oh dear. Some things are just falling completely other on a cord, but that's nothing for you to worry about. Alright, anyways, point being. The shape of this thing isn't actually perfectly circular, but I'm not really in a position to try to fix that. Alright. So... too long. I feel if we just moved everything down, not down exactly, but closer by one block would be perfect. Something more like that. Kinda like that. I'll take that. It works well enough. Alright. And now... We have an actual circle to draw. This one's actually supposed to be circular. This one's gonna be a tougher one. Well, it's smaller, so it's probably gonna be as tough. The thing is, I want it to be a pretty good size, too, for the sake of being able to actually draw details in it. Try to take up most of the space we're allotted here. I'm willing to work with that, I just need to fix up a bit. We still need to make it vaguely circular. Vaguely circular! I only asked for vaguely. 
Okay. And... Nice little detail down here. And we're basically ready for coloring, I think. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. So what colors do we need? Do we have everything we need? I'm thinking we do. Red, yellow, black, white. Yeah. No. And... This is where it's gonna be kinda weird here. Ah! Not that kinda weird, different kinda weird. It's gonna be weird for different reasons than that. Vaguely like that. I'll take it. Now oh, some white bits. Um, question is how many? I don't know how, and with how low the resolution is, I'm not really allotted as much space as would be nice. So I might just add fewer dots. Then I would have had a choice. I don't know though. I might be able to make this work. No, that's too big. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. Then... That's actually basically everything, isn't it? Hmm. I don't think I'm going to find another palette that has more grays to choose from while still also having a red and yellow. It's a little unfortunate because I'd like to have more grace to choose from here. Because I'm not really liking the ones we're using right now. That's red, yellow, and kind of some grays. Ah! Alright. In that case... Well, that, but that degree isn't dark enough. Blah. I want all the grays to be really dark. I want them to be really light. If that's an option I have, which I don't think I do. Oh, these palettes were named. I mean, they have names in the shop, but it's hard to tell which. If I want to go back to a palette I was using before. I don't I have an easy time doing that. I don't know where I am in the list. I kind of just want to look for the original palette now. Well, starting one. Where am I in this list? How many times have I gone through this list? I really have no idea. It's just terrifying. I feel lost. Okay, so this is the one that I actually have selected right now, so it should be off to the left a little bit. Not that one, I don't think. That might be it, actually. No! Oh, that basically inverted the colors. No. Not that one. This one? No. Oh no. I'm trying to fix things, man. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I tried to do what else I could with it, but that's gonna be all it is. So, the classic TS-1000 from Blinks. I mean, how could I do something that wasn't Blinks if it was gonna be time-related? You want me to draw more things, though? Oh no. I have no ideas for this right now. 
Oh man. At least don't make you draw all the houses together at the same time. Um. Yeah, at this point, I'm just kind of convinced I should just look around the room and it's the first thing I see, I'll draw. Which sounds like a questionable way of approaching this. But, you know what? It. Ah. You know what? That kind of messed things up, don't it? Come on, change that a little bit. I want to be perfectly straight though, that's rather the problem. It's kind of hard not to draw lines that are perfectly straight sometimes. Like that. I can't undo it all anymore! Okay, apparently undoing multiple times prevents you from undoing it all. They remove your privileges if you abuse the function. Stop teleporting. I might, I might just have to draw the la bottom part manually. This doesn't seem to be working otherwise. It's supposed to be a quick and dumb idea, but it's requiring actual work all of a sudden. Come on, move sideways. Here we go. I just gotta get that momentum. I think just now. Yeah, I'll work with that. And just add one more little bit right there. Perfect. Um, can't try to figure out how to do this one last part. I feel like I need. Two, strines, two lines are like perfectly parallel for this to work. Actually, wait. I don't know how I'm gonna make. Eh, that kind of worked actually. Big cardboard box. Beggars can't be choosers, lady. Okay, is there anything else you all wants to draw before I hand? Look, nice big <laughs> cardboard box. Just sitting around. Anything else people want to draw before? Oh, hi. Hi, twins. I might want to redo that Pokemon at some point, just for the sake of not having it be so small. That's the main thing it, that bothers me about that. It takes up so little space compared to what's expected of it. So that leaves this place feeling a little bit more empty than it actually should. This Bikini Bottom's starting to get pretty filled out though. I'm actually curious how much game is left based off of that. Have you been seeing the uh, flying saucer pass by up in the sky? Uh, I haven't been looking up there. I don't see it though. Maybe it's just it's cloudy some days and not others. I don't know. Anyways, based off of how many things there are to buy. I know there are lots of power-ups I haven't seen yet. 
So I guess there's still a lot of game left to go. Anyways. I guess that'll be that for this episode. At least... First, though, we will... Put up our clock. My clock. Where's this thing go? And it'll make sense if I went somewhere next to our bed. In fact, over our bed. If we're gonna be drawing more and more things to put in our room, we're gonna want things that are... And our bed, our bed takes up a lot of space to the left of where it actually physically is on the grid, doesn't it? It's kind of weird. I guess we'll sleep it up there. Nice little clock. In any case, so then that'll be that for this episode. Let's play Drawn Life Sponge Drive Edition. I'll see you guys next time, next episode, when we actually play levels. Look at that. We don't do that too often, do we? Bye, guys.